And welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge, where we are still very, very upset over the death of our most beloved skunk, possibly the most loved skunk that there ever, ever was. And I mean that literally, because I don't think skunks have a very positive reputation out in the world. Just, I'm just gonna say it. I don't think they do. Uh, for some reason, for some reason, we'll never know what that reason is. It's hard to tell, but it left us wondering who we should bring on the team. Now, last episode, for the sake of time, we brought on um, Alphonse the Curlia. Fantastic Pokemon. However, we already have the amazing Rutana in terms of psychic type Pokemon. Now, there is the possibility to evolve Curlia into a uh, Gallade, which would give us some fighting type. That would be very good. However, there, there can be no doubt that we are missing the poison void that was Noel, and, and it's just, it's so painful. And we have some other poison Pokemon that maybe we could hope to fill, but there's always, there's McLean, who was on the team uh, briefly, and actually the Darkness Void, the Dark Void could be, is, is, is gone a little bit as well. Mmm, McLean's, McLean could be the option. We have the Sneasel also fills the Dark Void. I've honestly, I've been leaning toward the Force myself. Ben, ben I feel like Ben has also been kind of leaning on the Force. He's got his headphones on, he can't hear me. I'm possibly throwing me under the bus. That's where I'm kind of at. I think we can, we can give it a shot. We can bring on the, cause you know what else? I just like wheezing. I like wheezing in general, uh, but I've never, you know, I rarely use them in playthroughs because by the time you get to them, it's normally like so late in the game, your team is just set. Lane, I used Galarian Weezing in my Sword and Shield playthrough though. Loved it. I'm gonna close Slack real quick because it's loud with this little blop da bop sound. Mmm. Um, so we could, I hadn't, I had forgotten about McLean over here in the hero box. That is, a, now we also have cheese. And I know, I know what you're thinking. We already have Dragon and Psychic on the team. What could we possibly use cheese for? <laughs> but, um, I mean, you can never have enough Dragon Pokemon is what I say, also. We do have to do some grinding though. We'd have to do less grinding if we brought on McLean. And we're getting awful close to, what What level are the, the, the party Pokemon we have here for? We're getting awful close to evolution time for one McLean, but I am, I still feel like it's definitely to me between Joel, between the Force, and between McLean. You know what? I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Ben choose. I'm gonna let Ben choose. Ben, I need your expertise. Ben Jam, I need your expertise. Ooh. I need you to make a, a team decision. Should we either bring on the Force, the Weezing, Joel, the Sneasel, or McLean the Pupitar. Oh my gosh. I know, I know. You see why I wanted to, to <laughs> offload this decision? <laughs> yeah, I can totally see it, I can totally see yeah. it. Yeah. To be honest with you, there, I mean, as, I would say Joel is an incredibly close second for mm -hmm. me. I mean, yeah. it, it flashbacks to my old lawnmower. Right. You know, uh, I have to go the Force. The I, Force I, I it is. The force. the force is coming on, there we go. Use the, you know what? Everyone's, everyone in the comments is saying, use the force. And you're exactly right. That's what we're doing. We're using the force. How, what, what, I mean, in, in honestly honor of Noel more than anything else, right? Oh my gosh, look at the force following behind us though. What a glorious looking little wheezing, I have to say. Oh, it looks so unhappy. Oh, why are you so unhappy, the force? Your Pokemon, oh, maybe he's just sleepy. All right, well, we are gonna have to go train up the Force a little bit. Let's take a quick look at the Force's moves as well whilst we're at it, am I right? Let's see, uh, the Force summary, maybe what moves do you have? Tackle, Smog, Smokescreen, and Assurance. All right, all right, not bad moves. I mean, not great though. It's no, it's no Toxic Protect, although I feel quite positive the Force would rock some Toxic Protect strategy. Do we have any obvious, um, TMs we can give the force. We have Reflect, not bad. We've got 
da, 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 da. I'm not, oh boy, oh boy, I don't know, you guys. Sleep talk, pluck, cut, surf, shrink, whirlpool, waterfall, strength, fire, surf, okay. Okay, do we still have, I thought we had, hold on, hold on, wait for it. Do we not have, I thought we had fire blast, which would have been pretty funny. But maybe we gave that to someone else. I think maybe that was the case. Um, Blizzard? Can't learn it. Okay, that would have been a little crazy had it been able to. All right, in any case, maybe we'll just go do some switch training. We'll see what kind of moves we pick up and we will decide from there how best to utilize the forces move set. Uh, perhaps we can go into Celadon and see if they have cool TMs that we can purchase, right? Route five, oh boy, is this a new route? Where am I? Am I on a new route? Okay, we are on a new route. That's different. I was thinking we were going to Celadon, not up here. I want to go over to this direction. Booyah. All right, we're on Route 7. I believe we already caught something in this grass, so we don't need to worry about it. Let's see if we can do some switch training real quick. Uh, I'm going to do a little grinding, get the force up a few levels. It's going to be great. The force is nipping at your feet, and then uh, I'll be back in a moment with a update on the force. Uh, enjoy the music. See you in a bit. Right, you guys, grind is over. As you can see, I have changed clothes. It took more than a day's worth of recording time to get there. And by grind over, I mean the four, I got the force to level 40 and was like, we're just, it's gonna have to be, that's gonna have to be where we're at. Because uh, I've just, we gotta keep moving. Gotta keep, we do have the EXP share on the force. So there is that the force will continue to get uh, experience as we continue to fight our way through uh, the next couple of things here. We'll say, uh, I went to the Goldenrod City Department Store. I picked up a couple of TMs, which you can see featured right here on the Force. Um, I gave the Force Protect in honor, partly of Noel, but also because I'm planning on using uh, leftovers on the Force at some point. So that's just a quick way to do a little bit of stall action, get a little life back. And we have Sludge, which we learned much better uh, then I think what we have smog. Yeah, so not much better attack. Uh, we will eventually learn sludge bomb, which will be even better. I don't think we're gonna have access to toxic, at least not. I think you have to get that from the battle tower or something. So it's not, it's not really looking good on that front, unfortunately, because uh, toxic, very good attack. Um, I would love to have that on here. I decided to keep Haze. Haze feels like a very, I mean, Haze is a very good wheezing move because it's very defensive. So typically you can switch in wheezing, take a hit, then use Haze. And what it does is any amount of um, buffing your opponent has done, like increase attack, increase speed, whatever, all wipes it clean. Everyone's back to zero. No more pluses or minus anything. So then, and then I gave him Fire Blast because that just sounded fun. Uh, also, we, we passed on a couple of fire attacks for Noel, and I was like, you know what? We're gonna bring the heat. We're gonna bring the heat. So there's that. We also had a few level ups elsewhere as well, but nothing too much to report. Uh, we got, uh, what, Plant up to level 50, uh, Rutan up to 47, Kimberly's at 49, Ace is at 49, and Ice. Ice and Ace. Uh, Ice is at 47. And that is where everyone's at. I think what we're gonna do now, we unfortunately have to get cut on the team. Ugh, more bad memories uh, in order to um, access the next gym. And I think to, uh, yeah. And I think maybe to access another area of grass where we can catch something. So two fun things to use for catch. We're gonna get, we're gonna call on Jade the Bellsprout to do some cutting. So sorry, real quick, the force. I'm gonna throw you in the box for one hot segundo there. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna get cut. Probably could have done this off screen. Yeah, I know you guys love watching people learn HM moves. Oh, look, maybe we should give it to Plant or Kimberly instead. <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh, yeah. 
which move should be forgotten. We're going to get rid of the old Stun Sporzington there. It's gone. Jade learned cut. Fantastic. Here we go. All right. If old man, it does make me miss Noelle and her. She was she was our catch master. You know, we did all the catching with Noelle. Now we can't do that. We're going to move Ice, I think, to the front. Ice is the new catch master. Are you ready? Don't blow. Your Pokemon's looking around restlessly for something. Okay. Well, you know, I trust you anyway. Route 16. Yeah, let's cut this tree down. It's going down. Zap. Well done, Jade. Ooh, what's in this house? Something free, hopefully? If you cruise down the cycling road, you'll end up in Fuchsia City. Yeah, I know that. Hello, hello, would you like to hear a trendy saying? Oh, not really. The trendy thing for you to say would be bone density. <laughs> bone density? Wow, all right, bone density is the trendy saying, apparently. Everyone, everyone leave bone density down in the comments below. All right, let's see. <laughs> What? What is? What was that? This is our encounter for Route 16. What can we catch? It's Pseudo Wudo! Okay, so this is actually a bad matchup for uh, Ice here because we're fire and it's rock. Don't be fooled. It's not a plant. You know who's also not a plant? Plant. Plant might be a good matchup here. Um, up, up, up. Kimberly, bad matchup as well. I think we're gonna. Yeah, we're gonna get. It's level 27. It's level 27. So. You know, we're just super likely to knock it out. That's the unfortunate thing. It did use Rock Throw, which is extremely ineffective. Uh, I'm gonna give it the Crunchzilla. King K Runch here. And we, yeah, well, it's dead. All right, well, no Pseudo Wudo for us. That's a real bummer. Never mind. I'm glad we went and got Jade out of the box for that. Level Route 16. Um, oh, there's no Snorlax here. You stop right there. You have to be on a bicycle to go down Cycling Road. All right, fine. Calm down, dude. All right, never mind. Never mind. I don't even want to go. I don't even want to go. I'm just going to go down here. We're going to use Cut. This is annoying because now I can't use the Force at the gym. Like, you have to have someone who has Cut on your team in the midst of the battle, and I don't like it. Anyway. Oh, the, you, you have to continue cutting inside the gym. Ugh, the gym battles are making me so nervous, y'all. We did not, I mean, last time it wasn't even Sabrina. Sabrina and her stupid Dunsparce. Yeah, I want to cut down this tree. Kill it, kill it, Jade. Kill it with vines or something. Oh my gosh. We got to make sure, it looks like there might be a double battle. So let's double check that Jade is not going to accidentally get sent into the double battle. Um, if we're going to have a double battle, the only, the obvious way to do it is uh, double dragons. We go, one goes low, one goes high. We rain death from the sky. Oh, it's a, I get it. It's a, it's a, you can't see where you're going because the, the things are in your way. Is this right? Am I missing something? Look, I tried to go left and right at every spot. Something seems the foot here. Aha! All right, bring it. Bring it, small girls. What kind of deadly god Pokemon do you have with you? We protect Erica. We're going to protect Erica. Yeah, okay. All right, here we go. What have you got? Good lord. Joe and Zoe. Beautiful and Beedrill. Wow, what actual um Pokemon that seemed like they would be on a team together. That is hilarious. Anyway, I don't feel uh, too terribly intimidated by these guys. We're going to fly high on the Beedrill. We're gonna, I mean, actually they're both flying, so we cannot dig, which is unfortunate, but what we can do is Dragon Claw the Beautifly into its next life. It didn't see it coming. Kimberly flew up high. Uh, yeah, one shot, one kill. Beautifly down. Boom, Kimberly grew to 50. Whilst in the sky, use the agility. Yeah, I would try and get out of the way too, but it's not gonna make any difference, Beedrill. Endeavor? Uh, how much, how little health do you have, Beedrill? Apparently not much at all. $7.99, yeah, you couldn't couldn't cope. You couldn't cope with your failures. Where did it lead you? I guess, well, probably right here. You've been standing here for what I can only assume is your entire life, but right back to me, that's the quote, right? We should also check the medicine situation before we just walk willy-nilly into a gym battle. We have three full restores. Mm-hmm. It doesn't make me the most confident, but I think it's probably enough. How do I get through these dumb walls? <laughs> what is going on? Get out of the way, walls! Did I go the wrong way? I do not understand this place. 
get out of like why can't i go in anywhere they're still blocking that is there another way over over here this is and then you can't see where the openings are man this isn't even bad at me being bad at puzzles it's just the game being bad it's just poor game poor gym design is what it is a hypno kimberly for the wimberly though um let's go let's let's fly high meditate see this would be good see this is where the force could come in actually this would be a bad situation for the force because that's a psychic pokemon and we're poison so they are strong against that not that the force is on the team right now because we had oh suicune wonderful 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 you have a legendary dog um not the best one obviously that would be raikou our um spiritual our fairy god spiritual fairy god. i forget what i'm trying to say here i feel like it rhymed earlier and now it doesn't maybe it didn't rhyme earlier let's go fly on this thing oh it used gust and it can hit us in the sky apparently what okay we're just gonna do that again you got nothing suicune oh it had aurora beam oh goodness that could have been bad that could have been very bad. Do we? Did we replace the? You have a Chimeco as well. Okay. Um. What's a psychic Pokemon? Let's just go for the Dragon Claw. Right. Oh, Safeguard. Well, it's, it's a little too little, too late, Chimeco. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. But it's more of an opening move rather than a save your life kind of move. You know what I'm saying. Um. We are gonna go. We are gonna go heal real quick because I do not. I am, and I might go buy some more full restores. Hold, please. All right, we are back in the gym, working our way through this maze. Goodness me, oh, it keeps going. Oh, here we go. Do you think a girl's only gym is rare? I mean, it feels a little, uh, maybe, I don't know. I haven't really thought about it that much. Oh, look, a pseudo wudo. Something tells me that despite our ease of knocking out the last one, this one, is a little bit stronger. We went, what did we do last time? We went for plant. Yeah, we're gonna go to plant again. Here we go. Sucker punch. You wouldn't even dream of it. I'm gonna go dig. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, you got nothing, bird. It's way. Hammer arm. You missed. This thing can't hit us at all. It's dead. Plant for the win. Double dragons win again. We plant you in the ground. Do, 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 do. How can I get you to understand my hobby, which is talking in a deep voice? What a weird hobby. Is that a hobby? That is so bone density. My gosh. Wow. Oh, Dark Ride. Oh, oh, hi. What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay. 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 Um, up, 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 uh, I don't, this thing, obviously it's a dark type, right? Let's see how a Dragon Claw does. Oh, it was Quick Attack. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, that did really good. So we're just gonna do that again. It's not gonna quick attack us again. It did quick attack us again, but that's the only way it can do any damage at all. And then it gets dragon clawed right in its dumb face. Whew. Suicune and Darkrai thus far. Oh, and an Infernape. Oh, oh, I hate it. I hate it. Okay, I mean, Infernape in general, I love, but uh, who, mm, they, they have been rude to us. We're just gonna go fly here. We do resist fire and uh, fighting with Kimberly, so there's that. And now we rain death from the sky with our mighty, mighty fly. It's dead! Get out of here, Ernie. Jeez. Ugh, killed Angbird. You're not forgiven. You're not forgiven. All there is to it in a swallot. Okay, uh, this is easy. We just Zen Head, but look at Kimberly wrecking this whole gym. We come in with a big dragon, we kill everything. I love it. This is, it. Is there any consistency? It doesn't, it looks like you should be able to walk through here, not here. I guess it's down here. Look, am I in the wrong spot? Look, ugh. I'm not crazy, right? This is like annoying. Why, like, why do you need to use cut? You already had to use it to get into the gym. Like, and you can't switch before coming into the gym, and it's not creating a shortcut, it's just making you go through the motions of using cut. This is bad gym design. 
Like there's the the cut the trees are not impeding you at all because you obviously have cut because you made it in the gym. They're just ah, that's so dumb. It's so dumb. Here we go. Suddenly we're at Erica. Oh my gosh. And suddenly the anxiety is high. Where are we at? Kimberly. I think we're gonna keep leading with Kimberly. But we could leave, you know, we could go Jade, you know. Probably not. Watch, oh my gosh, watch something happen where they like roar or whirlwind something out here. Cause like, it's not a grass, it's easy to forget. Like this isn't a grass gym. You think it is, but it's not. Um, Kimberly just makes, I mean, Kimberly just makes the most sense cause of the intimidate. Cause it, it's just good for that situation. So I think that is gonna be our strategy. Do we have, let me double check the item we have on here. Um, make sure it's the Yachi Berry. Okay, we still have the Yachi Berry. That's good. That's good. Um, yeah, okay. Who's ready for a gym battle? Here we go. Hello. Lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. I'm afraid I might doze off. What is with these gym leaders? Like, you might doze off. This is your job. You're at work. You can't doze off. Sabrina's like, I foresaw you coming. You want the marsh badge, don't you? It's like, of course, what? You guys, do you guys know how this works? I've been training myself, not only on flower arrangement, but also Pokemon battling. I shall not lose. <laughs> this is so bone density. <clears throat> you are challenged by leader Erica. Here we go, gym battle time. Oh, a Kingdra. Oh, she's a dragon trainer now. Probably not. But that is a dragon type. Okay, we throw the Intimidate. So we're weak to dragon type moves, but so are they. Um, whereas we resist the water type moves they might have, but this is still not a tremendously favorable matchup for us overall. It might be safer to go to Ace, because then we can, yeah, I think I like that. We threw the Intimidate already. It's probably gonna use special attacks, Boy, this is a tough one. Uh, but then we can use Dragon Pulse because we have the Dragon Fang on Ace anyway. So we can hit it for weakness and it can just hit us for neutral damage. So I think I like that idea. Dragon Dance, I really don't like that idea. You know who'd be great here is the Force. Now, the question is, does it have physical type attacks though? I would think King is more of a special attacker. Either way, what we're gonna do is hit it with the old Dragon Pulse. Oh, it's going for the double Dragon Dance. Ho ho, we know about double dragons. Here we go. Literal shot of Pokemon fighting a king. Almost one shots it. Now I'm very nervous. It did. It actually only has a one attack boost though because of the intimidate. So there is that. It's very. It's got plus one attack, plus two speed. Dragon Pulse, Hydro Pump. So this actually, this is not. I, I, we should be okay here. The Dragon Dances do not help that. It's still a very strong attack. Yeah, we're fine. Wasted Dragon Dances, and then it gets Dragon Ball to death. Thank you, Ace. I hit Monk Up! Okay, so, no big, oh, you have Intimidate? This is hilarious, watch this, because I have Intimidate. I will weaken your physical attacker, and I will resist you with my flying type attack. Now watch it have like Ice Punch. Close combat, so we've seen this before. That weak close combat's gonna do nothing. It's gonna do nothing, I said. A critical hit, of course it did. Of course it had that. Um, we're still just gonna kill it with, well. We're gonna take a free turn here and go max potion because we don't want something insane to happen. Detect, ho <laughs> ho a free turn indeed. Although it's worth noting, like if we fly, they can just detect out of it. So we could also just Zen Headbutt here. Um, Cause it's also weak to Psychic. Oh, it's almost dead. This is her ace, it must be. Oh, that, it's probably dead because the, um, because of the defense drop. I was like, I can't believe that almost killed it. Um, that Citrus Berry might have been its undoing cause almost certainly she would have used a full restore here, but now instead, um, She's not, because she thinks she's safe with the Citrus Berry and instead gets Zen head butted. We Zen head butt, Zen we win butt. Okay, she has two more to go. Got the big arrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
do it. Give it the old flincheroo. Super effective. Gash. Oh, what does this do? Ability was suppressed. Okay, so that's just so pointless on Kimberly because the ability activates on entrance. So uh, this Arbok is straight up dead. Did you guys know that Arbok is Cobra backwards? What? Everyone knows that. <laughs> Your mind was just blown. Bone density. <laughs> oh, Ludicolo. What a perfect matchup we have here because Ludicolo can be very tricky, but we resist grass and water as a dragon, so we should be fine. Um, and as a grass type, it should be weak to our flying, so this thing is doomed, as they say. And Kimberly just wrecks this whole gym. I, well, I say that, it's not like the fight's over yet. We'll see how the fly does. Oh, it, oh, it, oh, try attack. Oh, okay. This is a normal attack. What is happening? I feel like the anime. Eh? Please don't hit us with a freeze. Okay. Wow, that's a bit harsh. Okay, so what I think she's going to do is use a full restore. So what I'm going to do is use Dragon Claw to weaken it, and then we will fly, or else we will just go first and we'll kill it with Dragon Claw. As expected, she full restored. And then we Dragon Claw. We rip its pineapple arms off, and then we fly high, and she's got nothing. She can do nothing now. All she can do is hope we miss, which we don't. For the win, there it goes. Boom. Kimberly sweeps the gym with some help from literal god of Pokemon Ace. All right, player defeated Erica. Boom, looks like I underestimated you. Yeah, I would say so. I would say you did underestimate us, Erica. Oh, I can see defeat. You're remarkably strong. I should give you the rainbow badge. Da, 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 da. Ah, ah. It would appear Dialga is unhappy with our victory and has um, Giga Drain. Oh my gosh, a grass move. Whew. We probably desperately need that. Losing leaves, uh, leaves. A bitter aftertaste, but knowing that they're a strong trainer spurs me to do better. Uh, clearly, Dialga is not happy with our victory here and has given us the old black screen of death. I'm going to save real quick just to make sure that doesn't uh, come back to bite us right there. And I'm going to do a quick save down here as well. I'm gonna do, I have two ways of saving to make sure we don't um, miss something. I'm going to restart right now. Hold on. All right, there we go. We're back. Hooray. Now we're gonna get out of this dumb gym. We can ever find our way out. Oh boy. There it is. Oh, that was the hardest part of the gym was the maze. Jeez. All right, well we did it. We made it through. I feel like you still got a little bit of time left here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go heal and then perhaps we shall just see we don't have a Selenon on City Pokemon yet. Um, so we can try and do that as well. We can go ahead and, oh, you know what? We should get the force back out. My goodness, of course we should. Sorry, Jade, You're, you were, you know, you let us cut through the gym, but the time is over. Time to bring on the force. Use the force. All right, fantastic. Let's go try and catch a Celadon City Pokemon right here. I wonder if we can just run into something. Ooh, maybe you have to fish. I wonder if you can. Oh no! Here we go. Sell it on City Pokemon. Bum 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 ba dum bum. It's Celio. All right. Well, that's something anyway. That's a seal. We've had seals before. Ba ba ba. Poke the ball. Quick ball, go. Quick balls are handy, y'all. One, two, three. We did it! If you guys don't know about quick balls, they're so good. <laughs> it just run into something, boom. You have to use them on the first turn, that's the thing. Less turns into the fight, more effective they are. So you might think, well, I haven't done any damage. Doesn't matter. Here we go, now we get a nickname. Hold on. Ben, you wanna pick a name? Oops, certainly. Super dupes. Okay, who do we got? We have a Celio. A Celio. Yup. Well, I just like Arnold. 
Arnold. Well, it's a, it's a feat. I mean, it doesn't uh, even matter, you know. Arnalda. Arnalda. <laughs> That's from Scott Arnold. <laughs> All right. A beautiful, a beautiful name. Arnolda. That is from Scott Arnold. Uh, we're throwing the A on there because it's because it's female Celia. So Arnolda. Arnolda. I mean, Arnold's a pretty good name for a girl too. I mean, let's be real. But I, you know, I'm going. I went with Arnolda. There it is. Welcome Arnolda to Le Box. Okay, that was such an easy catch and did not take up enough time. I feel like we can do one more. I feel like we can do one more. Stop right there. Do I have a bike? Do I not have a bike? Do I literally have to? You can't just. Okay, I thought so. Aha! Victory is ours! Where are, no, this is still Route 16? When do I get on Cycling Road? Route 17. Okay, here we go. Let's catch something in this grass. What's it gonna be? Oh, a gold duck! Gold duck has got such a cool design. So fun. Level 29, too. Solid, solid. All right, can we get another quick ball right away? Can we do it? Can it happen again? Go, quick ball! One. Oh no! Fury swipes. We're not afraid. We're not afraid. Our main fear is that we knock it out outright. You know? That's the main one. Oh, oh man, I just went to ice like, I'll confuse it! Bad idea. Bad idea! Man, we're, we're just very strong. I guess we could go in with the force here. Summary. We could hit it with, <laughs> we could hit it with fire blast. I would, I almost bet it would live a sludge, right? Let's go to the force. Disable, okay. Will it live a fire blast is the question. Let's try it. Roasted duck, here we go. I'd be surprised if our non-fire type Okay, not very effective. Water pulse. Wow, critical hit. Don't love that. Not one bit. No, I don't. Um, let's hit it with another fire blast. Do it. Roast duck. Oh, and the crit. Yeah, I'd be trying to disable that fire blast as well if I were you. Gold duck. But it's not going to matter. Net ball. Let's go. And when you have the right kind of pokeball for something, this should be an easy catch. One, two, three. Boom. Nice catch, Golduck. I love it. What I man, Gold I do. I really like the design of Golduck. It's a fun Pokemon. It just looks very like aggressive, very like sharp duck. It appears by waterways at dusk. It may use telekinetic powers if its forehead glows mysteriously. Oh, oh. I think as a kid, I always thought Golduck was water psychic because it like certainly it has like it says telekinetic powers right there. I don't know why it's not water psychic. It should be. That's bad typing. That's bad typing. We need another name. And. We need a name. We have a gold duck. Goodness, great. Where are you? You're getting so much stuff. Well, I'm in Canto, man. Every everywhere's new. Everywhere's new. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. We're going to see. Here we go. Mm -hmm. This is Pedro the Gold Duck from Pedro Balthazar Garcia Gili. That's his full name. I wouldn't let me put it. You know, I'm going to put in. The, I'm going to put in. Hold on. I want you guys to know, oh, we're di we can't include the full name because it's very long, but we're gonna put in the rest of the initials. <laughs> All right, that's Pedro Balthazar Garcia Gili. Pedro BGG, as it were. All right, there it is. <laughs> Send to the box. <laughs> that's fun. Okay, well, we have caught uh, several new Pokemon. We got a brand new gym badge. We brought the force onto the team. I think this is probably a good place to call it for the day. I think next time we're gonna head down to Fuchsia City and uh, continue our quest for more gym badges and take, I guess it's not Koga, it's like Koga's daughter or something, whatever, doesn't really matter because she's not gonna be using poison types, probably. Um, but yeah, Janine, is that her name? I think it's Janine. I think, it, I think that's what it is. Janine is going down next episode. Uh, we're just going to wreck her with our beautiful, amazing team. Uh, there they all again. One last look. Well done, the force. Wait, good catch on the gold duck. You know what I'm saying? It'll be interesting to see how the rest of the team adjusts to having the force on the team. Losing Noel, obviously a tremendous loss for everyone. Ugh, it still hurts, you guys. It still hurts. That episode aired this morning as of this recording. 
and oh, it was pretty hard to rewatch it. It was, it was hard. It was hard. <sighs> I'm still upset. I'm still upset. Let's change the thumbnail art. I know people are like, "Curse of the thumbnail." Oh, I hope that's not true. I hope that's not true. I hope that's. I mean, it's been, it's been, it's continued to happen. It's continued to happen. Uh, it's, it's not a thing. It's not a thing. It is definitely not a thing at all. Don't. Nope. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for liking this video. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. We are in a new region, so there's so many new things we can catch, which means there's so many new Pokemon to name. And uh, the way we name our Pokemon is from the comments in uh, down below. So uh, make sure you leave a comment. And again, hit the like button. It super helps out the channel. And you know, subscribe, hit the bell, do all the things, all the buttons, you got it. Click them all, that's amazing. Good for you. You're the best. You, right there, you. Not the other people, right, yeah, you. You're the best. Amazing. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, before we go, just want to give a shout out to all of our amazing patrons over on Patreon Abby, Mondin, Adrian, Shishitano, Afro Punk, Annalena. Ort, Brad Johnson, Brianna Bouchard, Cheyenne, Dakota Ballantyne, Dana Guess, Eduardo Bravo, Emerald Phoenix, Gamer Zylia, Gregory Lee, Jacob Rosh, Jade Culture, James Buzanel, Joanna Ashcroft, Karen Choi, The Very Not Lazy, Lacey Nielsen, Lauren Alexandra, Luxpa92, Madison Wolf, Mats Frulis, Momo East, Nicole Cox, Rachel Pierce, Rashiba, Romy Osterheld, Stacy, Yale Ezer, Zane Emerson, and 0412. Thank you all so much for your support on Patreon. If you would like to uh, see your name on the wall of things right here, you can head over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Thanks again. Fork.